Multiple system atrophy, or MSA. Is angiogenesis a possible treatment or even a cure? Multiple system atrophy is a neurodegenerative disease which affects primarily the central nervous system in a progressive and relentless manner. It is not known what causes this disease, and there are no effective treatments to halt or reverse this disorder. The average time of survival from the time of diagnosis is eight years. We believe that one possible approach to treat MSA is to stimulate angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels, and neurogenesis, the growth of new neurons, in the brains of patients who are suffering from this horrendous disease. Our hypothesis is that similar to other neurodegenerative diseases that affect the brain, such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, MSA may be initiated by a lack of blood perfusion to selected areas of the brain. As shown here, the brain is an incredibly vascularized organ, and disruption of blood flow in the brain could lead to choking off of neuronal cells due to a lack of nourishment and improper removal of toxic waste products. So how would one go about stimulating increased blood perfusion in the brain of someone suffering from MSA? Therapeutic angiogenesis is the use of a drug to stimulate new blood vessel growth in damaged tissues or organs. And therapeutic neurogenesis is the stimulation of new neuron growth. We are developing a potent inducer of angiogenesis and neurogenesis to examine if it may be of benefit in diseases caused by lack of blood flow. Our drug is a natural growth factor found in our bodies and which our body already uses to heal wounds and other types of damage caused by a lack of blood flow. In previous FDA authorized clinical trials, it has been shown that this drug has great potential in treating two diseases characterized by a lack of blood flow, including severe coronary artery disease and chronic unhealed diabetic foot ulcers. We now want to expand these clinical studies to see if this growth factor may be a benefit to patients suffering from neurodegenerative diseases such as MSA. In this regard, we will be submitting in the near future an application to the US FDA to test our drug in patients suffering from MSA. We've put together a 30-minute YouTube presentation, and it can be viewed at the site listed on this slide. Although this presentation deals mainly on the potential of our drug to treat Parkinson's disease, many of the concepts covered in this talk directly relate to patients suffering from multiple system atrophy. In this presentation, you can learn about our hypothesis on how vascular dysfunction and lack of blood flow lead to neurodegenerative diseases. The presentation also has information in a video on the successful clinical trial that was carried out with this drug in patients with severe coronary artery disease. Finally, on this last slide, if you, a friend, or family member may be interested in participating in our planned upcoming MSA clinical trial, please register with us at this website or by calling the number on this slide. By registering with us, we can keep you updated on our progress and the timing of key events, including the start of our FDA-cleared clinical trials. Thank you for your interest in our therapy, and we do genuinely want to hear from you and get your input as we want to learn as much as possible on how we can work with you to fight this devastating disease.